So, how'd you sleep? Uh, it's okay. Were you I very... a lot. Were you very, very hot? But it was hot. Yeah, typically I use a blanket. And he actually, when he was on me, it was hot. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, because he slept on me a little bit, but not much. Well, with all the channels getting cancelled and everything, I thought the best way to make sure our channel is protected is to look like an Arab. No head support. There, there, there you go. He's almost as big as Humps now. Yeah, look at him. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, nice hard kiss. <laughs> you wanna fly? <laughs> okay, give it. Say good morning. Good morning. Say buenos dias. <laughs> Say buenos dias. Buenos dias. There, see, that's how it's done. Now let's go turn your sausages. Wait, where are these flowers going down here? There's no more surefire way of protecting this wonderful channel than by me looking like a protected, like a member of a protected class. So, here we are. You can thank me later. A lot of you have been commenting on Richmond sausages and how they are the how can I put it? They are the Skoda of sausages. Well, well, what is what is the BMW of the sausages, or what is the what is the Merc of the sausages? Tell us in the comments. What's that, Doris? Why were you asking the camera something about the sausages? Why not? I think it sounds silly. <laughs> What are you guys doing out here before breakfast? Play. What are you playing? Shooting birds? Do you shoot birds? Show me how to shoot birds. How do you shoot birds? Shoot a bird. Shoot a bird. There wasn't much yogurt in the, hey! in the jar today. Wait, why? I don't know. Thank you for the time you gave me moment. Get with your mouth closed. Keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> mouth closed. Best effort. You try. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. He's a good copier. He's like a little parrot. Good boy. So I continue my tracking journey. 22nd of 
June I was 92.6, Kilo 23rd, 92.4, Roma 92.2, well, I started way back on the 8th of June with 94.3, so I'm down 2.1 kilos in about 15, 16 days. You. Do you want to fly? No! Why not? I to fly! Alright, so we're going to go take the baby to his eight week checkup today. Um, I'm still thinking about that phone call that they just gave me that where they were like, you didn't register the baby, we've texted you three times, and I said, I dropped off the registration yesterday, and the lady just kept repeating, we need 48 hours to register your baby, 48 hours. We've texted you three times. And I said it wasn't in the text that you needed it 48 hours ahead of time. So then she said, oh, well, um, I guess we'll, we'll see if we can find your paperwork and get you registered before your appointment in like 40 minutes. I think she was ready to cancel this appointment. I would not have cared, but it's just really annoying that she feels like she couldn't even go through the paperwork ahead of time before calling me. Ugh. Get your Spanish. We'll work on your Spanish in the car. Okay, where is the mask I can put in my bag? Or wear around my neck, at least, so they can see. Should I just carry another one like this? Just carry that one. Don't cry, little baby. Are you buckled in? Yes. He's not. He needs to be buckled in. I wear a mask out of respect and For kindness. For black lives. <laughs> Masks for black live matters. For the NHS. And for for the NHS. Parents, all the vulnerable people. Alright, so so do I need to like put it on fully? I'll just put it on fully here. Why in the car? Why are you putting it on in the car? There's nothing in the car for you to guard against. I'm just getting ready so that when we're there, I don't need to put it on. Yeah. Alright, fine. I'll have it hanging on my ear like Joe Biden. Yeah. How's that look? <laughs> Wearing a mask in public is to the state what taking a knee is to Black Lives Matter. This is about respect. Yes. <laughs> it's about the cause. We love wait, wait, the what's NHS. the cause here? Oh, NHS. That's yes, right. we love the NHS. It's beautiful. NHS Lives Matter. NLM. So we're here about 10 minutes ahead of time and they told me to wait in the car, which is fine by me because I don't want to sit in there with my mask on. It was getting hot in the mask. And I can't imagine what it's like for the older people in there sitting and waiting with a mask on. It's not air conditioned in there. This is how we drove. What? This is how we drove with Wendy.
somebody on your lap. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a good Where potato. Did he go? Where is Sharon? Mmm, he let you he let you play with it? Yeah. So baby Winnie is perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong with him. There is no concern. This whole appointment was just to put him in the system. Did you tell them about the belly button and all that? Yeah, they said it's normal and it should just correct itself. The umbilical cord. Nothing uh, caused. Cord. Yeah, I guess. Back home. When he wants to get out. Hi, baby. What is it? What vitamin? So we got the gummy ones, multivitamins for the kids. Gummy King. Look at him, this chain. And then, um, got two of those. I got some vitamin D gummies, because I prefer those for us. So I got two of those. And then I got more stevia. Oh, the cheap kind. No, this is not. The, this is the same kind I keep refilling that bottle with. I know it's the cheap kind. No, it's not. It's really good because remember the cheap kind we needed like six drops of. This is but it's different. not the original original. It's not the one that's like 15 pounds for that yeah, one little bottle. Yeah, that's really. It's nice. 15 pounds for this size bottle. Yeah. And then. Hey, where's this... he going with that? Hey. And then this is just some peppermint oil for our homemade toothpaste because I ran out of peppermint oil. What are you doing? I can't get it out. I'm going to cut it open. There we go. Peppermint oil, uh, essential oil mm. for the toothpaste, mm. which you need to make more of. Yeah, we're twins. We're twins. Let me see if I can make my eyes Chinese. We're twins. Hong Qing Tao, Qing Tao, Ben Sun Jing Tao. Are you going to exercise with daddy? No! Why not? I want to play with Jack. Where is Will Jack? Where is he? Yeah. Okay. Okay, play. So I have to make lunch now, but I'm like really hungry. And I realized that I haven't even finished my coffee from the morning. So I've literally had like no calories so far today. Mm. Mm. Just finished my morning workout in the blasting sun. Nothing like a good, hot, sweaty workout. Lillian's having her egg salad with lettuce from the garden. The children are having leftover pork with rice, as well as me, I'm having that. And this kid is getting into the habit of opening everything on his own without asking for permission, being helpful, but also being annoying. And we're having what sometimes happens during violin is an emotional crisis because she gets something wrong. Perfectionist that she is, Doris. We love her. She wants to get everything right. It's okay, baby girl. It's okay. You want to help? You want to help? Okay, here. I'll give you the ones that are right. Okay, you take them. Take them outside to the table. 
<laughs> what do we got here? What do we got? Delicious. I had some pork chine. You did? That's cheating. Okay. That's cheating. It's more protein. More protein and fat. What are you doing over here? Oh, you're strapped in because you leave your seat all the time. You try to escape all the time, don't you? <laughs> so this is the app that I use to keep track of all my eating. So for example, I had 1989 calories of food out of my 2000 goal. What do you guys think? Do you guys know how much calories? How many calories we eat? I'm 5'10", about 200 pounds. So that's my calorie restriction number. In the land that eats away, live the man, sail the sea, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, show me your tooth. Come closer. So that tooth, that one, is hanging just by a thread. <laughs> This is like the hottest day of the year, my goodness. Anyway, I was just watching the video we released today and it was um, about our garden and you should see the garden now. That video was shot like three, four weeks ago, but you need to check it out now, just check it out. Look at this, so this was the raised garden. Look at these lettuce, look at that. I don't know what these tall things are. Rocket. I think this is rocket right here. This, I don't know what that is. That's no. This is tomato over here. This right here. Oh, that's spinach. Spinach. Look at these tall spinach plants. My goodness. There's the butterhead lettuce. There's the rocket just out of control. Look at this Brussels sprout mania over here. Look for scale. Look at that. Look, there's, there's Doris. That's for scale. Look how big they are. And then look at these onions. My goodness. Look at this single tall thing that's just standing out That's an right onion with a flower on it. With a flower on it, huh? Mm -hmm. And then the thing she said I ruined, the thing she said I ruined, which was the tomatoes. Let's have a look at how those tomatoes have turned out. Just look at this. Daddy did a spectacular job with this soil. Look at this crop of tomatoes. Look. Look. They're starting to come in. Look at these. Right here. Yielding fruit. It's just amazing. Oh, what happened here? God saved them? Yeah. Oh, I see. That's a good idea. I'm glad he did. And some of these just fell to the ground. We should hang them back up so they might survive. Oh yeah, this is gonna yield a load of tomatoes. Too many tomatoes, probably. And that's a good use of a, of a drawing rack. I thought you guys would appreciate that. Do you think, you think daddy is clever? Yeah. <laughs> Here is the corn. It's so tiny compared to last year's crop. 
But Lillian said that has to do with the seed that she used this year. But it's growing, it's tall. Cinderella. Okay. Hmm. The wife of a rich man fell sick, and as she felt that her end was drawing near, she called her only daughter to her bedside and said, Dear child, be good and pious, and then the good God will always protect thee, and I will look down on thee from heaven and be near thee. And thus, for their wickedness and falsehood, they were punished with blindness as long as they lived. The end. So what did you like about that story? Um, the funniest part, I think, and I thought that it hurt the two daughters, that they cut off a piece of their foot. <laughs> How is the, the Cinderella story from the Grimm fairy tales that we just read different from the Cinderella movie that Disney made? Um, the difference is that they they tried the foot up, their foot in, but they didn't cut their foot. Whereas mm -hmm. in the book, it, they had to cut their mm -hmm. foot. So where did we leave off? The Battle of Hastings. While these things were happening in York, the great duke had finished his preparations. He had gathered together his huge army and his mighty fleet of ships. The wind blew fair from the coast of France, and he set sail for England. So I had another call today for Class of Conversations, our home education program that, they, that we use, and that finished, and now I am getting ready for dinner already. I'm a little bit early, but I think it's better to be early than too late. So oh, today I'm going to make a roast chicken. This is just to make this, this dry stuff stick a little easier. Pepper, garlic powder. Um, I got it from America and I love it for chicken. So I have a big thing of this from Costco in America. And just rub it in. Five thirty. Okay, so then I don't need to start it until four thirty. So it's just gonna sit in there, marinating until four thirty. Alexa, set a timer. No, Alexa, cancel. Alexa, set an alarm for four thirty. Alarm set for four thirty p.m. When your alarm sounds, if you need a few more minutes, just ask me to snooze. Okay. I'm also going to prep vegetables, so I'm going to cut them up and have it ready, but I'm not going to start cooking them until later because Felipe doesn't want to eat until 5.30 today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me see. Well, shall we take it out? No. Okay, well then, is it hurting you or something? It is? Let me see. It's bothering me. Yeah, let me see. I'm not going to touch it. I just want to see it. It almost reaches my dog. Yeah. Just like my other one. So it's finally time to start dinner and I've just realized that it's a hot day and I'm going to turn the oven on. <laughs> so it's going to be a hot meal and a hot day. Alexa, stop. That's my alarm. I was going to make a salad, so I'm going to go get some salad from the garden and cut up a little bit of cucumber and onion and tomatoes. So we'll have a nice fresh cold salad, which would be a nice addition to this roast. I don't like to get my feet dirty. 
putting my willies on on this hot day. I think Felipe showed you guys the garden today. Um, but yeah, here's a lovely butterhead lettuce. This is my favorite. And so I just pick the leaves off whenever it's time to have a nice salad. Nice and fresh. I'll show you how lovely that is. Mm. And then this is my spinach. Just add a little bit of spinach so it's a little bit more healthy. It has more different um, vitamins, nutrients in them. And then my arugula, my rocket has just been overgrown and pretty much out of season now, so I'm not going to pick any for that. But they say it's good to let it seed. It's flowering and then it's going to seed and then I can collect the seeds for when I want to plant them again. As I was too hot and too tired to bring the camera with me while I was cooking, but at least you can see what it looks like when we are serving it. Okay, here. Swallow it. I like the dark meat. Felipe is eating the whole half of a chicken breast. What? You still have it. It's still there. Yeah, it's hanging there by a thread. Daddy? Hi. Dad, this is Blanco Pajaro. Isn't that... Pajaro Blanco. Bird white. Always say what So, how's your day been? Fine. A bit frustrating because of them. Because of him. What did he do? I've been whining all day. Wanting to be carried. Wow. This is not a day to be carried. Mm -hmm. It is a hot day. What's Winston been doing? He's been a sleeping. good boy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mommy, I do not die right now, Mommy. Okay. Why do you want to be carried by your hot, by your warm father on a warm day? Yeah. Like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. From the side. What's wrong? What is a special treat that Daddy lets you have? Bread with chocolate. Mm. What kind of bread? Food. Homemade bread. Mm. My bed. <laughs> I think it's down. Open your mouth. Oh, it's still there. Get more wiggly. Good. Hello, buddy boy. How did you get to be a such a sack of potatoes well, so guys, quickly? Just come. This almost every time. <laughs> just, eat your, just eat your thing, okay? Just don't swallow your tooth when it comes out. Just eat. Yummy? Okay. Hey, hello. Hi. Pay attention. Okay, Humphrey, take out this tooth. Take it out of her mouth. Take it out, this one. Take it out. It's very wiggly. Uh, uh, dad. Take it out. Open your mouth a little bit more. Dad, dad. Mommy. Go ahead. Dad. Go do it. Pay attention. Go ahead. You can do it. Why don't you do it? You can do it. Take it out. Good job. Yeah. Oh, it hurts. It does hurt? It's almost out. If you do it really quickly, it'll be over and then you can have a nice ice cream. Good job. Uh, do it quick. Like you're scared. Uh, like you're scared. I can't do it. 
Okay. Hold you it. hold on to it and I'll knock your hand. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Did you hold on to it? Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Do you still have the tooth? It's still there, hanging by a thread. Andrew was one of Jesus' disciples. The Gospel of John in the Bible says he was the first person to follow Jesus. He was so convinced Jesus was the Son of God that he brought his brother Simon to meet him. And Simon became a trusted follower too. Police Chief uh, Superintendent uh, Kevin Hurley, put this event I I into proportion for us, if you can. Well, the only way you're the only way you're going to deal with this is to have a social intervention that gets upstream and helps manage the problems that come from single parenting, particularly amongst mm. young African Caribbean women. And I'm talking about intervening and supporting families when the children are three and four years of old. Fatherlessness. To prevent no one is talking about that. It's good that he is. Offending. Because you can sanction the police, you can put cameras on them, you can investigate them as much as you like, but in the end, police only react to what goes on in front of their faces. And we've got into this kind of vicious circle of police officers dealing with young black people who always come from a perspective that the police are there to suppress them. And the police very quickly start to learn that dealing with young black people is quite frankly aggravation and puts their mortgages and careers at risk. That's the reason, actually, why so many black youth are killing each other in London, because a lot of police officers have given up on trying to stop them carrying knives but and guns and kill each other. Do you think it is really helpful at this time? Helpful? What a politically matter, correct moron. So clearly helpful. That's the truth. Pains to say we need to get upstream of the problem and help with the parenting. That's what happens because when this is actually not a BAME pragmatic issue. This is an issue related to of West well, African hi. heritage in terms of the relationships between police and the public. There is a real lot of misinformation going on about police officers killing black people in custody. Last year, 16 people died for various reasons in police custody, generally drug overdoses. Of those 16, only one was black. Last year, police shot three people dead. Only one of those were black. There is a real narrative that's going on here, I think driven by people within the Black Lives Matters movement who want to destabilise and disrupt society. Okay, so we're going to have to leave it there, thank you. Very okay, much. we're going to have to leave it there. <laughs> right when he starts getting really good. These British press are just cowards. They just can't deal with politically incorrect topics.